My father and I are both professional ice skaters, but right now it is July, so all of our frozen lakes have thawed. So we are treading water in our conversation over dinner. With precision, our glances are choreographed to avoid collision with one another. When he stares at the ceiling, I look at the menu. He studies his phone. I glare to the ground, and occasionally we allow glances to the expanding chasm of glasses between us, our eye contact connecting with chiming crystals containing $11 of what is just basically juice. I chose this place because it has good mocktails, but we don't talk about that. We invited my brother, he never replies, but we don't talk about that. Last week, my father texted me a congratulations on eight months of sobriety, but now, in person, we don't talk about that. Every conversation is an obfuscation of the issues that we have been avoiding since my childhood. Every discussion is a charade. Every dinner party a grenade. We have never had a good time getting our mouths around tough topics, so we decide instead to fill them up with warm breadsticks and the cheapest mocktails in town. We swim around in consequential questions like what books we're reading, what was the last thing my sister's dog chewed up? Spoiler alert, it's the remote. <laughs> it's always the remote. But if you saw us from across the restaurant, you would not know the desperate ways we try to keep afloat, the, the frantic underwater paddles around our insecurities and vulnerabilities, because God forbid we talk about a fucking feeling, you know? On the rare occasion when our eyes meet, I wonder which one of us he really sees. Sometimes I wonder if instead of daughter, he sees water, which is a way of saying if he lets me in, he thinks he'll start to sink. I remember when he used to have ice skating rinks made out of insects side jokes when we used to be so alike we didn't actually need to speak to know what the other was feeling. I remember when I used to think I would probably grow up to be just like him. And I probably did. But I wouldn't know. Because we don't talk anymore. And in fact, when I look down at the dinner plate, I only see myself and the lies I have told myself. In fact, this whole poem is a lie. My father and I have not shared a meal together in years. There is no text of my sobriety. My father and I have been drowning in separate ponds. We stopped treading water a long time ago.